at an ICA pre-conference at the American University of Paris. And the pre-conference is called Communicating Multimodally, Research and Expressive Culture. The idea behind this pre-conference was to bring together emerging and established scholars who work uh, in the field of communication beyond the traditional formats of journal, article, and books. So scholars who embrace uh, film, audio, uh, photography, experimental modes of knowledge production because in doing so they push uh, the fills and as productive directions. And then upon like emerging back out into the world after the lockdowns, I was wandering around these areas that I've lived in for quite some time now and almost all of the arts infrastructure that I used to engage with over the past decade seems to be gone uh, and I don't think most of it is coming back. I always believe in artwork that allows people to engage with themselves and to engage with the world around them because when you see it and you are forced to think about certain situations that you wouldn't really want to think about, then that opens up a conversation. So it's dialogue. I want anybody who engages with Christians to be in dialogue and with those kind of themes that are around it, mental health, story being subjective, and more than anything, understanding how in multimodal forms, poems can become a script and a script can become a film, that there's really no fixed way of telling stories. And I guess I was thinking about like why so many black people are conspiracy theorists and how that culturally I feel like differs from a lot of the like white nationalist conspiracy theorizing that we see and like trying to tease out I think what all those differences were. So rumors spread, don't bother him. He's a mean little sissy, and he's stronger than he loves. <laughs> I found the vibe to just be like very celebratory because we were all kind of like together in person. It's clear that it hasn't been like recent that we've all been able to just like connect and talk about our work. Yeah, I just found it to just be nice to just be in person with scholars who I feel in community with, but not just through like what we do as scholars, but through what we do as like art practice and also like our stories and it was beautiful.